we cannot find a place for them to live and we have to have them. All new at six, two of Hawaii's most pressing problems collide in Kailua Kona, a shortage of health care workers and a shortage of affordable rentals. Kona Community Hospital is racing to find homes for another round of traveling nurses arriving in less than a month. Investigative reporter Allison Blair has more. No affordable housing. It's an ongoing issue that's led to some caregivers actually canceling their contracts, a situation that can jeopardize the community's access to health care. Now hospital leadership is asking residents for help. While visitors are often drawn to Kona for its calm waters and breathtaking beauty, some aren't coming for vacation. I got here in July of 2022. Greta Dosboy is a registered nurse. This is a place I've been to twice so far. The 32 year old travels across the country working in understaffed hospitals that need help. She's just one of 123 traveling caregivers currently employed at Kona Community Hospital, which is way over what we've ever had before. And it's still not enough. Next month, that number will increase to more than 150, nearly 20% of the hospital's entire workforce. If we don't have these nurses, we can't provide the level of care that we want to provide to our patients. A necessity that's become increasingly harder to find. It's expensive to get here. It's expensive to, expensive to stay here. And you also have to rent a car. It's why hospital staff started this Facebook page. KCH Travelers looks to connect caregivers with furnished rental units and rental cars. Now they're urging residents and real estate agents in and around Kona to advertise their open units as soon as possible. The next round of travelers is expected to arrive March 20th. A lot of our agency staff either travel with families or they travel with other agency staff. So we have people looking for like studio apartments all the way up to three bedroom houses. Meanwhile, hospital leadership says it's looking for more long term solutions, recently acquiring its first rental unit. It's a little two bedroom, one bathroom apartment that we've been able to get furnished and ready for um, rent. And we're hoping to be able to get somebody in there in this next month. It's a start but nowhere near what's required to fill the immediate need. We would love to have 150 places that we could continually have open and ready for our staff. With no place to live, caregivers could cancel their contracts, putting the public's access to health care at risk. And we're having to do overtime for our own staff and burnout is a real thing. Contracts for those traveling caregivers typically start at 13 weeks and can be extended up to a year. If you have a furnished unit that's available, head to our website, hawaiinewsnow.com, and there you'll find a link to the KCH Travelers Facebook page. Allison Blair, Hawaii News Now.